Hey, hey, what's up you guys? I had a hard time choosing which tractor to get in this morning. <laughs> you don't even see which one I'm in, do you? Yeah, is that better? Okay, so this is the tractor we chose this morning. <laughs> we gotta get hooked up to the side cutter. I finished cultivating yesterday. And as a matter of fact, while me and Dan is getting hooked up to the side cutter, you can check out the footage from the last two days. I guess I'm gonna call it a night. Still got a lot left to finish. We'll pick up in the morning. So here we are the next morning, you guys. I went to grease up the cultivator and I noticed that this basket here was sitting lower than the basket over there. And so I came up here and looked and I discovered that that bolt, which I've already replaced, was broken. That's where it connects to the frame at. So I had to replace that bolt. That's the broken one. And then I happened to look here at this shank. This is the replaced shank. Actually, we took the shank from the outside over there and put it on the inside. The spring was bent, which meant that there's a piece of metal in there where you can adjust the tightness of the spring. It was broke and this shank was where it would kick back instead of having down pressure on it. So we replaced that and then also i looked over here and i noticed that that bolt that's replaced the new one there it was broken too so that was some good preventive maintenance because we could have lost <laughs> this whole entire section here of the cultivator if those bolts would have broke off here's the shank that i was talking about see how the spring is bent that's because the piece on the inside is broken so that's no good with it like that and the outside one here I'll just be missing I'll just have to overlap some so anyway I got to get all the tools put up and, uh, and then I'll head on to the field it is currently 920 finally finished everything up and I'm getting ready to head to the field and pick up where I left off at and sister Cheryl I see your PayPal donation, I wanna thank you. May God bless you 100 fold. And I will make sure that I pet and say hello to the kitties and the babies for you. <laughs> I started about right there and worked my way to this side over here, which is where we left off. But once I get done with that side, I'm gonna come back over here so that I can wind up on that side and that way when I do my end rolls it'll work out right I actually almost finished over here but it's a good thing that I stopped because that spring being broke it wouldn't cultivate properly so I'm glad I didn't so I'm finished this side now And we're gonna head over to the other side. Of course, I'm not gonna do the ends down here yet because I'm not finished with the field rolls over there. Looks like my line where I made my first pass is right here. You can barely see it being that I did it yesterday. The dirt has once again turned the same color. There's no good distinction. Yeah, this is definitely it. we're doing the ends
when I look at all those stumps and trees and everything piled up super tall there, they did that with the excavator. I think about uh, Let's Dig. I think his name is Chris. I watched some of his videos sometime. <laughs> but those are some big piles, man. gonna do it here you guys so I'm actually not done cultivating I have to go back and cultivate everything that I've cultivated where we chisel plowed and rip again so <laughs> more cultivating to be done So this is the farm where we had the little burning LED <laughs> strip up under there problem. And it also had started raining on me. So I'm gonna try and get it knocked out. And uh, I'll check in at some point, you guys. And we are finishing up. What a coincidence. You guys, I gotta stop here, and I'm actually at New Creek. I don't know where this piece of metal came from, but I heard it start dragging all of a sudden. It must have been on the side of the road and got hung up. Let me see, let me go around this way. Boy, that water level is high. Know where that came from it must have been on the side of the road when I got off the side of the road to let the car go by I'll take it to the shop with me put it on our metal pile but anyway new creek <laughs> wow We have arrived to the next farm. I don't know if I'm gonna finish all of it before lunch because uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired. I can use a nap right about now. <laughs> I give up. I gotta go ahead and take lunch, you guys. I got the two small fields here done and the big field is left, so. <sighs> My eyeballs are heavy. <laughs> and we are back at it in the big field now. Woo, dusty. Can't see a thing back there. Alrighty, you guys. We are officially done now. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You the talking this cat I know. <laughs> Kitties and babies! Babies and kitties! Let's see if they're gonna show up, you guys. I'm gonna try and get them over here, Sister Cheryl. <laughs> Kitty! Hey! Oh, fuzzy thing. Kitties and babies! Babies and kitties! I gave them some food earlier. Early this morning. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hey, baby. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Sister Cheryl says hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see Auntie coming behind me. I'll wait till she gets here to get y'all this meat. Y'all gonna have some meat. Here she is. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> get that head butter. You gonna butt him? You gonna head butt him? You being good today, huh? 
Okay, I guess y'all waiting on the food. We're missing, let's see, it's two, four, five, one. Oh, gather around. I'll take the bone out. Gather around. Oh man, look at him going to town. Going to town, you guys. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that's some good turkey meat there, huh? Y'all getting a early Christmas dinner. <laughs> this is that I'm smacking. Is it good, kitties and babies? I don't know where the other baby is. I guess she off doing her own thing. Oh, buddy, he grabbed him a big piece and went over there to himself. <laughs> All right, dude. So, yeah, you guys, I finished the cultivating, and now we are hooking up to the side cutter. Time to do some end-of-the-year mowing. This is a tractor that Dan used to spread the rye with. He went to go get the middle top link because we had took it off during peanut season when he was using it with the four-row picker. And we're also... <laughs> struggling to remember whether we hook up the right side or the left side first because one of them is higher than the other and it makes it difficult to get hooked up but uh <laughs> i guess we'll get it after a while all right you guys we finally got it hooked up so now i gotta get it ready blade sharpen Put the oil in it and everything. We definitely are gonna have to get a new set of blades, you guys. These are whew, worn. Ain't much sharpening you can do for them. But anyway, let me get them off. So Dan was already heading to town. What's up, buddy? Buddy, hey. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Dan was already on his way to town, and he called the parts place, and they have a new set of blades. So I am not going to sharpen these blades. He's going to get two sets. So we're just going to chunk these, and while he's making his way back, I'm going to go ahead and get greased up and everything else that needs to be done to it. As always, the blades are a little too long, so we're going to have to cut the ends off. I've been here probably 25 30 minutes on that one <laughs> now you can really see how much they were worn out see how much space is there okay I'm gonna get them put on now you guys so as you saw I did decide to go ahead and put a little edge on there you guys Alrighty, got the new blades on you guys. It's pretty much set to go now. Alright you guys, I'm going to start off with you on the headband. And I probably should put you on the window being that we're just starting for the first time. Because there's probably going to be a lot of head turning. But anyway, turning the PTO on there. We're running the 540 instead of the 1000 shaft. So I'm going to have to rev the motor up higher than normal. We didn't put the adapter on it, so it's gonna be a little more noisier. 
due to higher RPM speed. But uh, I gotta put a disclaimer out there to begin with. I guess around the fields mostly. Dan was like, not to spend a whole bunch of time getting it super clean and super low like I normally do to try and save time. And then too, he also mentioned about how whenever it does turn warm again, and it's warm today, it's like 76 degrees today, you guys. But when it stays warm, that which I have mowed, it ain't gonna take it long to, to grow back. So he said not to spend too much time. So if you see me doing a, a partial job compared to how I normally do, that's why. <laughs> Blame it on Dan. <laughs> but anyway, for those of you who are new, we mow around the fields and the ditches to tidy up things to keep the sapling trees mostly from growing up around the edge of the woods and in the ditches so that it don't look bad and so that particularly when you're in the field and you're turning around if you got sapling trees growing close to the edge of the woods you tear equipment up so that's why we mow around the fields you guys and it is that time of year that time of year where we say look at them ditches <laughs> oh and I asked Dan if we was gonna run the long arm cutter this year he wasn't quite too sure so I was like oh man I want to run the long arm cutter <laughs> but anyway we're gonna do what we got to do Okay, so as you can see, I've made it around to the woods now. I can actually make a complete circle around this entire field. And that's what I'm gonna do before I start backing up. If you remember from last year and the year before that, I like to back up working along the ditch because it cuts better and the deck is angled better for a smoother ride along the bank of the ditches and I can see better too backing up when I'm backing up the fender on the tractor is not restricting some of my view but anyway I'm gonna make a circle oh there's a tree down up there I'm gonna make a circle around this field and when I get back to the ditch out there by the road I'll check back in. We have made it back to the ditch and I'm gonna put you guys on the window and we're gonna get it cleaned up. All right, here we go. So I noticed when Rudy bush hog this cornfield, he didn't mow around the woods. There's a lot that should have been mowed with the flat mower, but Dan probably didn't tell him to mow it, which is why he didn't. Because if he would have told him, I'm sure he would have <laughs> got a whole lot more closer to the woods than what he did. So that's why we're having to make a lot of flat passes.
There's a mouse. Ooh, I wish a hawk was around. <laughs> he ran across the road. We're getting there. You know, I was just thinking about something. Donnie Tide mowed these ditches and this stuff here has grown since he's mowed it. Of course, it wasn't cold when he was mowing, so the stuff had time to grow back, but <laughs> wow, yeah. I just remembered that. We're gonna have to go on the other side of the ditch to get all of it cleaned up because I can't reach it. I don't have enough reach. Since I got the four wheel drive track, I'm gonna go across the ditch right here. <laughs> Instead of going all the way to the driveway, save some time. <laughs> it's not wet anyway, so. Now the sun isn't right in you guys' eyes. Let's get another gear. Whoa! Man, this trident is so snappy. Woo, them ditches coming along, ain't they? <laughs> I should lay the deck up on the, you know what? Yeah, let me do that. And then I can make a forward pass on this side. Like I was saying, it's easier to mow backing up. Definitely when you're on the opposite side of the ditch bank, trying to clean up like this right here. getting what we couldn't reach. It's a pretty steep ditch right here. The further towards the creek we get.
inches. <laughs> Y'all know me, I had to clown. This is the first day. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Now we can look at it from the inside compared to how it was when we first started. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the woods here for a while and I'll check in a little later, you guys. A lot of hours later, I'm checking in. My cousin called before lunch and I was talking to him for a few hours. Then I took lunch. And I came back from lunch and I've been mowing. There's this fence here that I need to get out of the way. Well, I guess I can't really get it out of the way. I'm just going to have to mow over it. Because it runs all up and down here. I just have to mow over the top of it. But anyway, as you can see, I've been mowing around the field here. It has actually gotten pretty late over in the evening. It got sort of cloudy on us. It was pretty dreary looking. The sun was peeping out just a few seconds ago there. Now it's starting to hide again. But anyway, it's been a good first day so far. Let me crack that window open. Let you get a little chatter sound. Uh, there's not much trees here. I realized that the side cutter is louder than the long arm cutter. Whenever you get up on a tree. But anyway, I'm gonna get ready and wrap the video on up. Oh yeah, I finally discovered who got me the Jesus Saves Tobogging. I want to thank brother Kevin for getting me that toboggan. Y'all saw I had it on earlier. I had to take it off though because 76 degrees is too hot for a toboggan. <laughs> but there'll be plenty of days to come where I can continue to rock it and all my other gear. So I appreciate all of you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed watching on today. If you did, smash that like button for us. Throw a comment in the comment section and let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>